God bless the Queen. Strange. Let's begin. Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we'll into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking to the first name of Elizabeth. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to a couple people who became patrons while I was away the previous week. So a huge thank you to one Tina Harkins and one Brian Masterson. Thank you guys both so, so much for becoming patrons. Patron is more vital to YouTube and my career now more than ever. So if you really enjoy Name Explained, want to help support the channel and have a say in what names they explain, you guys get to pick about two thirds of the content, about 50%, I think I do shorts these days, about 50% of the content here on the channel is chosen by patrons, so it helps in a huge way, all for just one dollar a month. So if you've got a spare dollar, I know times are tough right now, and if you can't, that's fine. Please do continue enjoying Name Explained as you are already for completely free. But if you can donate a dollar, patreon.com forward slash Name Explained, link down below. Loads of goodies waiting there for you. If you can, thank you so much. But if you can't, that's completely fine too. I just hope you enjoy these videos, and I hope you're managing okay, because times are tough at the moment. Basically, yeah, it's not a fun time. We were promised this great beacon after COVID ended, but no, it's just, just a little bit weird, isn't it, right now? But we'll get through this, fingers crossed. Anyway, on with today's name of Elizabeth. And Elizabeth is simply the English form of the Greek form of a Hebrew name. So this name went from Hebrew to Greek to English. So let's go see what this initial version of this name was, shall we? Initially, in Hebrew, this name was Elishiva. And this name means something along the lines of an oath to God or a pledge to God. And then from Hebrew into Greek, it became Elizabeth. And then from there, from Greek to English, it became Elizabeth as we know it today. So all in all, this one is actually a pretty easy name to explain. But what I find most fascinating about the name Elizabeth is the huge abundance of nicknames that this name has. If you were to Google what name has the most nicknames, then more often than not, the name Elizabeth comes up. Sure, there's some others, and you can't quite fully quantify what name has the most nicknames because you could just make up a whole new name and give it a load of nicknames. But by and large, a lot of people online seem to agree that Elizabeth is the single name with the most nicknames, at least here in English anyway. There could be names in other languages that I don't know about that have a huge abundance of nicknames too. We're just, we're just dealing with English for now, I suppose. I'm supposed. I'm afraid, touch I suppose. Made up a new term. Cool. As to why Elizabeth, out of all the names out there, has so many nicknames, well, I think it has to do with the amount of syllables the name Elizabeth has. By and large, nicknames tend to derive from like the beginnings of syllables in names. So example, my name Patrick, two of the more popular names for it are like Pat and Rick. They're the two syllables, Pat, Rick, and they're like to the nicknames that come from Patrick. Obviously, you've got things like Paddy and Patty and Ricky as well all comes from it. Maybe Patrick has the most names, I don't know, but you get the idea what the syllables are is kind of where you tend to derive nicknames from. So if you can make that many names with two syllables, like my name or Patrick, think what you can do with a four syllable name, because that's exactly what Elizabeth has. Elizabeth has four syllables. There's a couple other names I can think of with four syllables, uh, Abigail and Alexander, uh, two that come to mind off the top of my head, but it's quite a rare event to have a name with that many syllables, and that can do a lot of work with it. You can make a lot of nicknames from that. Though I must admit, we don't really do much with the A in Elizabeth. Like, there's not any nicknames coming from the A, the third syllable, as far as I'm aware. But the other syllables, loads of nicknames. Let's look into them, shall we? That first, the E, that the E is, or L is, that first syllable, that gives us names like Ellie or Eliza or simply L. Like, there's so many that come from just that one to begin with. And then we have the second syllable of Liz, and Liz unto itself is a first name, but could also be diminutive into Lizzie, or just Liza, like Eliza, but without the E. Eliza, Liza, Liz, Lizzie. There's, there's so many from this name, guys. And then the final part of this name, Beth, that would become just Beth unto itself, but could also be Bess, or Betty, or Betsy. Like, there's just, just a boatload of options with this name. And on top of all these common nicknames for Elizabeth, there are actually a couple other nicknames for Elizabeth that tend to be linked with one or another specific Elizabeth in particular. Something I didn't know is that the name Buffy is actually a nickname of Elizabeth. I can guys say that Elizabeth, Buff, Butty, Butty? Betty, Buffy. I can see how that happens. I've never actually watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer myself. 
Um, I remember like kids older than me being into it. I was kind of just a bit below before my time. Um, maybe I should watch it. Let me know if I should watch Buffy. Let me know down below what episode I should start with. Probably the first one. And of course, there's that nickname of Lily Burt used by one specific Elizabeth in particular, who we'll talk about in a moment, shall we? But if you're looking for a name that has a boatload of nicknames, you can't really do much worse than Elizabeth. And of course, Elizabeth is a traditionally female name, although call whoever you want, whatever you want. That's the say your name explained, who cares? But I was wondering if there was a masculine name that has as many nickname varieties. And the one that came to mind is one I mentioned earlier, Alexander. Like, you can get so many name nicknames from Alexander, like Alex, Al, Zander. Is that it? Duh, you just be the Ali, I suppose, is another one. I don't know, let me know what male name, traditionally male name, you think has the most nicknames. My money's on Alexander, but as always, happy to be proved wrong. Maybe it's Patrick, like I said. Maybe mine's the real one. Ooh, exciting. Elizabeth is a supremely popular first name. In the USA, it is the 14th most popular first name for girls at the moment. It's consistently being in the top 20 or so. Like, this name isn't going anywhere anytime soon. And here in the UK, it's the 56th most popular girl's name. I kind of thought it would be higher here because of a certain Elizabeth, but maybe it's going to be a bit higher now. So let's talk about a very famous Elizabeth, shall we? So yes, in regards to famous Elizabeths, while there are many out there, Elizabeth Taylor to think of one off the top of my head, I want to specifically talk about Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, she passed away recently, if you are unaware. So it's, it, it's a huge event. I don't know how many of you guys are following this news, if you care at all. Some people really care, some people don't care at all, and that's fine. You're allowed to think what you think, but I imagine to a lot of people watching this, I might be like the British person you're most connected with. Or you probably watch Jay Foreman or Tom Scott, they're much more successful than me anyway. Um, but yeah, so as a British perspective, it's all kind of a bit crazy at the moment here in the UK. Um, we haven't had a monarch change in 70 years. So most people, I imagine most people watching this video, and I'm happy to be even wrong, haven't known a life without Queen as the head of state, as the Queen of England, as the monarch of England. We're going to this phase of King Charles III, which still sounds very strange to hear. And I was talking to Paul, my podcast co-host from Lady History about it, and I kind of sort of stumbled over my words trying to talk about it. But I'm really into pop culture, hence all the sort of dumb pop culture tattoos on my arms. And I kind of grasp a lot of life through pop culture. And what I find fascinating is most modern pop culture has involved the queen like if there's ever been a monarch of england during some during any sort of popular film or tv show or comic book or normal book or song even it's been elizabeth ii i think the best way to explain this is the beatles song penny lane which is one of my favorite beatles songs has the line in his pocket is a portrait of the queen so that's from like the mid to late 60s and that's the same queen mentioned in that Beatles song. That's the same queen who got run over by Homer Simpson in about the early 2000s. Lady, please get back in your overturned car. Let the guys handle this. And that's just kind of like her impact in popular culture has been enormous. Her impact in world history has been enormous. And yeah, bye Liz. Thanks for everything, I suppose. I'm not a massive royalist myself, but weird times, weird times. But anyway, that's more than enough of the name Elizabeth. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Elizabeth? Are you called Elizabeth yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts of you guys on last week's name of Cleo. Ace Lightning said, In African-American culture, ancient Egypt was revered as the highest expression of African society, so exotic sounding Egyptian names became popular. That is so fascinating. That makes a ton of sense. A lot of the Cleos, the famous Cleos, the famous Cleopatras I was looking into, were black people, and that just explains that completely. I don't know how much truth there is. That could have been Ace Lightning just blagging it, but I can see a lot of sense in that. Thank you very much for sharing that. If anyone wants to prove them wrong, feel free to. But don't, because it sounds legit. Jurassic Lion said, part of me now wants to name a daughter Cleopatra. Do it. Let's bring the name Cleopatra back. That'd be so cool. Mullets are black, back. Somehow mullets are back. If mullets can come back, so can the name Cleopatra. Like, 
We can do this. And Nimo1492 said, one of my cats is called Cleo because she has a triangular tabby patch above one of her eyes that looks like a pyramid. <gasps> That's so cool, but maybe it's the Illuminati. Maybe your cat's a member of the Illuminati and they're trying to watch you do all their things. I'm definitely not a member of the Illuminati, don't mind me. Go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the winning name in that poll will be covered in the next Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoyed the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names I explained, please Please do consider becoming a patron. As I mentioned at the top of this video, guys, um, Patreon is more vital now more than ever. I know so many people are struggling with money at the moment. If you can't afford it, that's fine. However, if you can spare $1 a month and want to help support the channel, like if it's something you really want to, you think, hey, you know what? I really like Patrick for some bizarre reason. I can put up with all the weird stuff he does and I enjoy it and think, you know what? That guy seems all right. Maybe consider donating a dollar. If you can't, that's completely fine. Like I said, times are tough at the moment, so I completely respect that. Just please carry on enjoying, viewing, liking, commenting on these videos, all that cool stuff. It's really hot here today, unexpectedly hot. It was really rainy this morning, that's began being, it's began hotting. Raining, hotting, yeah, however the weather works. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go lie down. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm name explain YT and don't forget to go join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain. Okay guys, take care. Are we recording? That went badly. I'm gonna do a whole bit again. I'm gonna again. Has as I just want to say, thank you very much.